Bill Kearns, who's not Italian, is uh, co-hosting on the program today. Bill, good to see you again. Good to see you as well. And uh, Mike Hornby, also not Italian, co-hosting today. Definitely not Italian. Colin McLaughlin producing. He's half Italian. Did you know that? I did not know that. I thought yeah. he was more Irish. On his Scottish. mom's side, his dad's uh, he's actually probably a quarter Italian because his right. dad's half Italian. Gotcha. Yeah. You get bonus points on this program if you are, by the way. With the host. Yeah. Yeah. It helps. That's all that matters, it right? It doesn't hurt. <laughs> doesn't hurt. On the days when I'm, ho- I'm hosting, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which, we'll leave that go. Only on the days when I'm hosting. Our guests in this segment are threefold, and since they are talented musically, I expect at some point along the way we'll get a performance. I'm not 100% certain about that. Our friend Elliot Simon, no stranger to the political game, also in the music field. Elliot, come a little closer to your mic and say hello. Well, hello, uh, and it's really a pleasure to be here and to be wearing a different hat. You can't wear it because of the headphones right <laughs> now. Right. Yeah, that, but it's a great hat. That's right. And by the way, I'm I'm mostly Polish. So mostly Polish. Yeah, yeah, okay. Right. Brave people, <laughs> <laughs> fighters. <laughs> well, uh, tell me about Miss Christina here uh, before I, I say hello to her. Introduce her for me. Oh, this is Christina Alexander. Uh, she lives up on the other end of the mountain from me. And uh, we met in church. We were introduced by a person you know, Chris Anders. Yes. And uh, he said that she was a singer. I was playing in the church band. And Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, I said, we ought to get together. And uh, then nothing happened. And ran into her at a restaurant up on the mountain Mm -hmm. and uh, said, we should get together. Got her number. I wrote it down wrong. Of course. (laughs) You're a man. (laughs) <laughs> eventually she came over to the rehearsal studio and we started singing and uh i started playing actually she was doing the singing and uh magic started happening and here we are and formed a band called what mission road which mission is where road. she was living at the time that was the name of the road yeah, yeah that's on the near Sh- it goes through shannon yeah mm-hmm. christina good morning to you good morning great to have you with us thank you so much for having us and be a telephone i understand we have don ricks don are you there i am i am don how are you well i've I felt better before, but I'm, I'm doing great. Uh oh, sounds great like to, you, you... great to be on here. Thank you for having all of us. Do you got the bug that's going around? You know, I'm not going to label it yet, but um, it's it's feeling that way. It just I was feeling fine, and I woke up this morning with a with a fever and a cough, and of course I was you know. I was like, oh, no, not now. Please, not now. I haven't seen Rob for years, and I want to get into the studio. And um, Anyway, but thank you for letting me call in instead. I appreciate it. Welcome to COVID 2024, John. <laughs> I've already, I had it last week. I have so. ask, have you been around Rob oh. about eight days ago? <laughs> oh, no. Well, you know, I, I had it a couple of times last year, and I'm, I'm hoping that's not what it is. So if, if I abruptly hang up or you, or you lose me, you know, I had a coughing spell. <laughs> Under, understandable I, and you're right i don't think i've seen you in 25 years oh hun it's it's been a long long time i think the only thing different is i'm older and 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 probably a little little chubbier for sure my hair is a little grayer and you have a lot less of it so i think <laughs> i was just thinking i think, I think overall we're doing great babe <laughs> yeah i i used to tell people that uh when i was younger and they said you're, you know your hair's starting to turn gray and i said Better to have gray hair than no oh, hair. Yeah. And then I got both, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do? What can you do? Yeah, we were a lot yeah. younger back then, Don. It was fun. Exactly. But we always had fun. We did. It was, it was awesome. So, uh, Don, I want to stay with you for a moment, too, because uh, you've accomplished a lot with music over the last uh, 25, 30 years. And you've won a lot of awards, uh, too. And if you could, maybe... Uh, Brief us on what your career in music has become, because I know you've done some time in Nashville, too, where you've had a lot of success as well. And, and uh, tell us a little bit about that. And, and uh, I know a lot of people know you from around here because you're a local girl. But uh, where did you grow up, go to school and all that stuff before you took off for Nashville? Um, well, yeah, born in Baltimore, um, grew up in West Virginia, went to Jefferson High School, um, actually, North Jefferson Elementary, then Wright Denny Elementary, and then Jefferson High School and um, Charlestown Junior High. I'm an Eastern Panhandle girl. Um, competed in the local pageant system with Miss you know, America system, Missouri Berkeley County, and Miss Jefferson County, and 
runner-up to Miss West Virginia, and, and that their that experience through the Miss America system gave me the confidence to go after anything that I wanted to go after. That and the support of my family. Um, I've been singing since I was a little girl. My goodness, I I, I did. If you remember when Michael T had the Fox News, um, mm-hmm. uh, his little his show, I, I you know I performed on there. I used to perform in the mall when we had one. I mean, it went from there to festivals to. Um, you know, constantly going to Nashville since I was about 18, networking, meeting a lot of friends, and just um, performing locally with local bands such as Fast Lane, and, and I was with Shockwave. I was with a band years ago called Four of a Kind, and um, even Studio Six, which did nothing country, which was kind of funny. Um, but over the years, I've met some really great people in Nashville. I've made friends with a lot of um, a lot of folks. Um, I could name drop, but I won't. And um, but mainly not giving up. I mean, the support locally for local venues has been great, and I love watching Mission Road um, and and folks like that who are kind of now expanding out towards Nashville and doing a lot of those things and you know, getting to see their picture up on the billboard as well. I mean, I, that was a big deal for me. I've been up on the billboard a few times in Nashville with, um, promoting some music. But um, I was, you know, I've, I've got dug into writing. I've, I've won some awards um, over the years. And, you know, I mean, I, I don't usually talk about myself. But, um, but um, it's been quite a journey, and um, I love it. And I don't continue to, I mean, I don't, I don't plan on giving it up anytime soon, as long as COVID don't me out of here, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, but um, you know, I, I have a local. Sh- I have two local things coming up. Or actually, I'm singing in Nashville in October, but I have a local show here at the Charlestown VFW in November, um, November 9th, I believe it is. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't. I don't really know what else to say other than I'm just excited that the the. the that this the Eastern Panhandle, West Virginia alone, has been so supportive of me, and um, and Nashville is hard. I mean, you go there, and, and everyone is fantastic, you know, you know. And um, but if I could give any advice to anyone, it would be just as corny as it sounds, never give up. And I just, you know, stay true to yourself. That your music might not be for everyone, but that's okay because your message will be heard by the people that it's meant to, you know, to be heard by. And so um, I, when I was younger, I had a friend of mine who I thought was a friend say, it's not that you're good, you're just different. And, you know, when you're younger, that, that stuff stays with you. And now I'm 53, and I still hear that every time I go out on stage. It's not that you're good, it's that you're different. But then again, you can look at my EPK or, my, or what I've covered, the ground that I've covered over the years, and, um, and good is good, and, and different is good, you know. So, um, you know, a lot of people have different opinions, and my thing is just, you know, doubt your doubts, never doubt your faith, and uh, keep doing what you love. Good stuff. Elliot and Christina, I know uh, you folks recently got some hardware for the work that you've been doing here. Tell us about this. Well, Don received a uh, Female Vocalist of the Year uh, award, and we received a Band Single of the Year yep. uh, for a song called Going Through the Motions. Mm-hmm. And it's on that album that uh, you've got over yeah, there. Right yeah. mm-hmm. And uh, you were given this award by whom? The International Singer Songwriters Association. And. Um, They are uh, headquartered in Atlanta. We went down to Atlanta. Mm -hmm. And actually, that's where, I mean, I've known about Dawn for quite a while, you know, but uh, I finally got to meet her at the award ceremony. So, but um, yeah, it was really a thrill. This is our first award. I mean, Dawn Dawn has gotten, yeah. So, uh, it's their first of many. I can tell you that. I can I can definitely tell you that. They are they're amazing and it's kinda of funny that <clears throat> you know, we're practically neighbors <laughs> but we've never met in person until Atlanta. But I I was so super excited, you know, for them and, and to to watch what they're doing. So I'm definitely a big fan. Christina, how did that work that uh, you folks got nominated that went to Atlanta for the awards? So, um the ISSA had you have to become a member. We have a Caden Gordon, who is our promoter, who's a, a member of the ISSA, nominated us um, for the award. Mm-hmm. And so then you have to have your peers and your friends vote. And so we ended up with, what, the top 30 votes? 
Right. Of the, everybody the top in the top thirty of all of the everybody in the organization become the finalists, and then they choose uh, three. And then the there's forty seven judges all over the world that listen to your whole album, listen to the song, and um, we. So, we we, won. so when you win this award. There are 47 worldwide judges yeah. who are listening to the song to determine who gets Song of the Year. Yeah. yeah. That's, right. well, that's pretty impressive. Yeah. I I went there and I'm like, we're not going to win, but I'm just so excited. This is such a wonderful opportunity. And to be able to network in every, with everybody and meet new faces and amazing talent. And so I'm sitting at the award ceremony and they're like, Mission Road. And I'm like... <laughs> I was kind of like dazed and confused for a second. Ellie's like, let's go. And I'm like, what? And they're playing our song. And I'm like, oh, so we're, I'm like running up to the stage in my gown and he's wearing a tuxedo. And and uh, then when I got up to thank everybody, I couldn't remember what I was going to say. <laughs> so. so tell us, what's been your biggest inspiration um, for your songs? Uh, my inspiration will always be Patsy Cline and Martina McBride. Gotcha. That's a pretty good uh, yeah. set right there. Yeah. I've always wanted to be a big vocalist, and I've worked really hard to get there. So I always go back to them, too, to hear what their different techniques are and their breaths. And We were supposed great. to do a Patsy Cline tribute show on Sunday. We got, it got canceled. Yeah. Somebody's messed up on the book. It was supposed to so be So are there plans chapter. to collaborate between Dawn and you guys and do something together? Uh, that would be cool, Dawn. Yeah, oh, that, that would be. be that would be so much fun. That would be really fun. Um, and something I just wanted to add about the the award show that we were at. You know, it is it, it's a international award show. So we had people in from um, from from India, Australia, Canada, Greece. And and speaking of collaborations, I was able to collaborate um, on a song last year with uh, Demetrius Nevis, who is from Greece, and he recorded in Greece. I recorded in Nashville. We put the song together, and the song actually went number one wow. in in Greece <laughs> on the pop charts, which is which is pretty interesting. It was one I wrote, but I would absolutely love <clears throat> to collaborate with Mission Road. I think it would be great, and I'm hoping that this interview, and I'm hoping that I'm hoping that people in our area um, will will dive in and and with additional support for for us and for for our journey. Um, I don't. A lot of people don't understand it. A lot of people think we're, you know, chasing, you know, fake dreams. And um, that's not the case. We put in a lot of hard work and our own money. And, um, you know, sometimes we have to ask for sponsors. Sometimes we need crowdfunding. But if they could support us at the venues and buy our merchandise and, and just share our, our things, it would it would be so helpful. And the Eastern Panhandle should be so very proud. I know, I know I'm proud of, you know, everyone locally, and I'm a big – supporter of everyone but mission road they have my goodness they've got years and years of ahead of them of, of some great stuff and i appreciate them even thinking of me to have me on this interview yeah. too <laughs> thank you don yeah. yeah don tell us about your award elliot mentioned a, a moment ago yeah this um i i was fortunate enough to get um female vocalist of the year which they do in a they do in a bronze silver and gold level and i got silver which is great because once you win gold, you can't go back for like two years to compete. And I'm like, I'm okay. I'm okay with the silver. Last year, I ended up winning um, the silver for my song, Worlds Collide. And the year before that, I won the silver for best single of the year with my song that I wrote, Tennessee Miles. And um, it's one organization that I really feel is, has been very, um, very helpful in my career as far as... Um, the support of the of the other artists and i too have caden gordon as a promoter and had him um, about a year or two ago and he was one guy that just follows through on everything that he does so it it helps to you know to keep your circle tight and close and um and you know there's so much you can accomplish when you're around the right people yeah that's funny because that's how we met is through caden yeah and um uh, on a Zoom call is where uh, we met Dawn. Oh, no, no, <laughs> that was a few months ago. Yeah, that's how, that how was important it. is it to have the right promoter? Oh, it's critical. It's almost mm -hmm. everything, mm -hmm. right? And and Caden takes on uh, responsibilities that most promoters don't. Like he tries to help manage you and book you and provide you with opportunities that other promoters just don't. He goes way <laughs> out of the way for his artists. Initially, what he does is he'll take a song that he's mm -hmm. going to promote for you, 
and he'll put it on a bunch of radio stations. He's got a list of 7,000 internet and FM and AM stations around the world. Mm -hmm. But what Caden also does is he helps network for you and with you. And that's really key because networking and, and getting to meet people mm -hmm. and, and knowing people and being introduced to the right mm -hmm. people, that's really, that's the most important thing really in music mm -hmm. besides well, the music itself. Mm -hmm. What I what I found about him, this is what I found out about him a couple years ago was the fact that he was the first person that I've ever paid to promote anything that actually followed through. <laughs> Many people, you know, will take your money and say they're doing this, that, and the other, and there's no real there's no real proof in the pudding per se. Um, but he actually, what he says he will do, he follows through, and he's efficient, and he's wonderful, and you guys should have him on the on your station one day and interview him. He's, he's, he wears a lot of hats like the rest of us, but, um, yeah, it's good to surround yourself with, with great people. And, um, and, and talk about years, about years ahead uh, uh, of, uh, you know, that he's got so many years ahead. He's still in college, so. Ah, he's, yeah, he's a, of course. I know. Yeah. I mean, it's amazing. Yeah. Uh, he is special. He is a special guy. Yeah. In regards to the, the songs we're talking about, we can't play them on this show because we stream live to Facebook and then that runs into issues with copyright and then Facebook will shut Facebook the show down. The police will shut you down. They will. Well, they'll, they'll, well, they'll turn I, the show off, by the way, songs, so you can't do it. Well, the song... And then YouTube later on where we repost will mute the entire thing. So <laughs> yep. we, we learned a long time ago just we don't mess with playing unless entire plan, songs. Unless you're playing it live in front of us, we, we just stay away from oh, it. Yeah. Okay. And there's a chance they would mute that as well. <laughs> so they're, they're very vigilant about that sort of thing on Facebook and, uh, and on YouTube. Uh, Don, you mentioned a, a November performance at the VFW? Yeah, in Charlestown. It's open to the public. It's it's free to get in. Mm -hmm. um, and I would love to see some folks there. Um, even a shout out to the 167th. You know, I was a medical service specialist there, and I'd love to see some some uh, some old military friends if they would pop out. That would be great. Um, it's my last one for for the, for the year, um, other than some things I have going on in Nashville. So and you, you I'd said love that to was my local family. November nine. Yeah, is that this? Is that that's a Saturday, right? November ninth is yes. a Saturday. November yeah, 9th? It's, uh, yep. November ninth, Charlestown VFW. And Christina, when are you folks going to be performing again? We're playing at the Devil's Due Distillery this mm -hmm. Saturday. Um, what time? Not, not this Saturday. Next Saturday, the fourteenth, from two to five. Mm -hmm. Then we're playing in the Crossroads Festival in Leesburg mm -hmm. on the twenty-first. That's at McDowell yeah. Speech. Right, and we're the host band. And so. if people want to hear your music, Don, where can they go to hear it? Do you have a website for them? Um, I do have a website. It's D-A-W-N-R-I-X um, dot com. Um, yeah, DonRicksMusic dot com or DonRicks dot com. Oh, my gosh. I don't even know my own website. That's funny. <laughs> but any, anyway, Google it. they can go on any, any, um, any platform that sells, you know, that, that does music, mm -hmm. iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, um, all the above, and, and they can hear it. And it, actually, if you, if, you know... If you tell Alexa to play it, um, she actually does. <laughs> and if you say it lot, if you say it clearly enough, it will make people's Alexas play it because we've done that with Siri. Where really? If you say yes, Siri, it call it, it will on this phone. I had a friend of mine call one day and said, "I never believed that you were really doing all that you were doing until my so until my son said, Alexa, play Don Ricks." Tennessee Miles, and all of a sudden, we're all listening to your song as we're eating dinner. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Isn't that funny? I thought that was great. Yeah. Uh, Delegate Wayne Clark on the phone was trying to explain something to us, and he said something to the effect of, you know, and I, I can't say it out loud because it will actually do it. Siri, call, and he said my name. And his phone literally called me, trying to call me during the thing, and my phone showed up with Wayne Clark's face on my phone. So that was kind <laughs> of interesting. Funny. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah just be careful how how loudly you say something. Do do uh, your paths cross with Christian Lopez at all, Don or Elliot or Christina? Um, I I see Leslie all the time, his mom and dad all the time, all the time. I mean, and of course, you know, Leslie and I, we've been friends for before Christian was even thought about, let's say that. Yeah. Um, I I was trying to get to see him at the Opry. I thought that was a big deal. I don't get to see him often, but I do get to see Leslie and um, and Jamie often. Now, I'm going to throw another name out for you, too. Jason Aldean. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Try, try that in a small town. My, my cousin... Uh, their daughter. I'm not sure how the cousin tree works, where your cousin's 
child is to you. But uh, she was, in his first few mus- music videos, when he was just kind of hitting the scene and breaking out, She was she's the girl in his music videos. So if you find Jason Aldean's first couple of hits, that's my cousin once removed, Amy. <laughs> wow. wow. So, okay. uh, anyway. Interesting. That, that, yeah, that was pretty cool. She became a, an actress in whatever. She was in one of those Lifetime original Christmas movies, by the way. Oh, wow. Oh. It's one where the boat and the captain, they're all at sea. That, that was pretty cool, too. See, if anyway. people had not tuned in today, they would have not have known Would that. not know that. <laughs> right. Check out Jason Aldean's first couple of videos. Don, great to catch up with you again. It's been too long. Yes, and thank you so much again for having us. I appreciate it. And thank, thank Mission Road for thinking to invite me, too. So I um, am tickled to death to hear from you guys and i hope y'all will check out our music and um and keep keep watching because there's a lot in store for us very nice and go get some ibuprofen and, and get some blankets you Treat might need some symptoms <laughs> and, and that, <laughs> Definitely. that album that you have there all i want to say 10 songs written by me one written by my dad and a couple of covers that have an interesting story but maybe next time very nice good to see you again elliot Thank you Christina, yeah. nice to meet you. Thank you for coming in, and congratulations on your success. Thank We're you so much. Mus- uh, missionroadmusic.com. Yes. Missionroadmusic.com. Final minute next. <laughs>